Yes. Um, okay, so then we have the actions layer, which just basically has a stop action on the timeline as we hold on the first frame for the load screen. Now, all of these screens and buttons that I'm about to go through, these are all just simple movie clips or button symbols um, that uh, once you have a fundamental um, idea of how to get around in Flash, you can simply change out these assets um, and start to make this your own project. So we'll go inside of the load screen. Okay, simple enough. We're just inside of a movie clip and you can change the load bar which will fill up as it's loading on the web. Alright, uh, we also have on the second frame, that's pretty much the load screen besides the background and the HTML background um, down here that are for graphics that will just persist across all pages in your application um, or in your storybook and those will be there permanently so you can either just remove those completely or place a nice background and then we'll go into the pause screen and we have a start screen which some applications prefer a screen to start with as like a title screen that you simply hit a button to enter the application before you all of a sudden have the menu and the paging arrows. Um, so that this is the movie clip that you would use. Um, if you don't want to use this, you can simply right click on the layer, turn it into a guide layer, um, which will make it not active, but it also won't break the code in the framework. Um, I have a header. Just uh, again, anything that uh, you'd like to persist across all of the pages. Um, a permanent header you could use in that movie clip. Uh, now the buttons movie clip. This one holds, let me hide the start screen, there we go. This one holds all of the framework's built-in buttons, the pagination buttons, the pause, mute, and the menu. Now, these, with the exception of the menu, which I'll come back to, these other buttons are just simple button symbols you could go inside of and change the up, over, down, and hit states and use whatever buttons you'd like. You can put them anywhere on the screen. Um, the drop-down menu is a component. You can look into the flash help um, reference materials onto how to skin components, but in short, on, in the library, inside of the component assets folder, you can find all of the symbols that you'll want to skin to try and change the color and size and things of the uh, drop-down menu. So if you don't want to use some of these buttons, um, you can simply click them and drag them off of the screen but don't delete them. If you delete them, then it will break some of the code that's trying to talk to them in the framework, but you could certainly drag them off stage and then they just won't be utilized. Okay.